All right. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Jordan Adler here coming to you live from Las Vegas. I was in San Diego last night, yesterday. Um, my cousin, Stephen, had his 39th birthday. And my cousin Clifford, who's my favorite cousin, my first cousin, contacted me and said, can you come out to San Diego and hang out with, uh, with us? And so there were about 20 cousins, first, second, and third cousins. And we were up in Oceanside. And then this morning, I woke up on the beach at my Equity Estates condo. And uh, it was kind of a bittersweet morning because this morning was the, I've had that condo for 12 years and the fund is liquidating all the condos, which is part of the contract. And so all the, not just condos, all the homes. And so all of our equity estates homes are going to be getting sold. And that will probably be the, it, it will be the last time that I stay at an equity estates place. So um, it was a little bittersweet, but it was beautiful. I, I uh, had the sliding doors open and I could hear the waves all night long. It's right on the beach. Uh, so I slept with the doors open and there was a nice, very cool breeze coming off off the ocean. And I was under the covers. It was nice and warm. And, and uh, it was just a beautiful morning. Got up, had breakfast on the beach and then flew back this afternoon. And my cousin, Stephen, <clears throat> I think Cody likes, I think he was into Sons of Anarchy, if I'm not mistaken, but Cody loved Sons of Anarchy. Well, there's a guy named Ryan Hurst, uh, who apparently, I've never seen the show, but apparently Ryan Hurst is um, a star on the show. I think he got killed off in the second season, if I'm not mistaken, but he's on Cameo. And so I hired him, it was like $200 to make a video for my cousin, Steven, for his birthday. So he made a three minute video uh, wishing my cousin happy birthday and he was hilarious. And so we played it on the big screen TV at my cousin Clifford's home. And uh, we just had a great time. It was a beautiful day. Um, they had this uh, brick oven fire, uh, brick oven pizza thing that they had just purchased. And it was outside in this little courtyard at my cousin Clifford's home. And they were cooked. Uh, my, my cousin Michael was cooking pizzas. And so, and I got to see all my new cousins. And it was really great because I hadn't seen them in like a year and a half. So it's really cool. And it just occurred to me, just being on the beach this morning, I probably sent, oh gosh, I don't know, 10 maybe postcards from the beach. And it's no, it's not like I'm even taking myself out of the element while I'm doing it. It's just like I'm having breakfast, enjoying the ocean, sending cards, and it's I'm in my element, I'm enjoying it. And I started thinking about the total freedom, the total freedom that you get with this business. And we didn't have that when I started in network marketing. You know, we called it a home-based business, but you know, it, it really wasn't a home-based business. I mean, this business is a business that you can work from anywhere. You know, I can send postcards from anywhere today and I can, and I can send videos from anywhere. And you really want to embrace that and appreciate it and immerse yourself in the, the feeling and the knowing that this is a business that gives you full freedom and you can take it to wherever you want to take it. You can take it, and make it as big as you want to make it. So I don't know if I'm communicating that well, but um, I just noticed that, like really noticed it this morning as I was um, waking up on the beach and then sitting at the little cafe right out on the beach. I ordered a, a acai bowl with banana and strawberries and blueberries and peanut butter and granola. And I was sitting out there sending postcards going, wow, this is like, it's heaven. Like, it's, per it's heaven on earth. It's perfect. So really love it. And so wherever you are in your business, whether you have nobody working in your business or if you have 10 active distributors, 10 active affiliates, or if you've got five customers or whatever, wherever you are, just know that the business A has unlimited potential. It's really only limited by how big you can think and how active you want to be and how much belief you have in it because your business will grow to the level of your belief. If your belief is lesser than the belief of the people you're presenting it to, then your business is not going to grow. So you have to, you have to um, embrace the energy of um, the power and the beauty of what we have at our fingertips. It's the energy. It's all about energy. And I'm just sharing with you how I'm feeling about it. And I, and I don't know about you, but since I started sending postcards, my energy regarding the program, it's always been good. You know, you guys know that I wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't after 17 years. But the postcard program has taken it to a whole new level. I'm not talking about just the energy that I feel, but the energy that I'm sending out. And when people, everybody I talk to, everybody I show it to, all the cards that I'm sending out, 
the, I, in fact, I just checked earlier today. I sent out 962 cards in the, uh, in the last 30 days, 960. I had no idea. I could, you, you had asked me, I probably would have said 300, but I sent out 962 cards. And I think back my first week in send out cards, I sent 350 cards and, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm not working all day long and I'm not sending cards all day long. Uh, some of them were campaigns. Some of them were um, automated sends, but I did a couple of those, um, and, and but they weren't huge. And then I've done a lot of individual cards, but I'm putting, I'm pouring my energy into these cards. And I know that there are millions of people out there and it doesn't matter. Humans are humans. So we're just, people are people. And it doesn't matter, um, you know, whether it's somebody who stays at home with their little dog and never leaves their apartment and they want to send cards or somebody who has a really big circle of influence, you know, somebody who is really well connected to a lot of people, they're going to get the same feeling with this. And it's just a matter of us getting that out to people and sharing it with people. We have to keep the message ridiculously simple. Like how simple, think about how you, we can communicate this 97 bucks a month. You can send unlimited individual postcards from an app on your phone in the mail, including postage. That's it. I just explained it in 10 seconds. That's as simple as it is. And then we can show somebody and we can send out cards every day. I'm getting messages. You guys are too, if you're sending out cards, I'm getting messages throughout the day from people receiving these cards and they love them. So I wanted to talk for, I'm going to pick some topics. The first one is I wanted to talk on energy and share with you how I'm feeling about this because I know that it starts with me. It starts with you. When you feel that energy, you want to communicate that energy to other people. And so, you know, if, and if you keep it so simple, keeping the message so ridiculously simple that you can get excited about it and explain it to people, $97 a month, unlimited individual postcards, photographic cards, send things to people that are going to be meaningful to them. And they'll, they'll tell other people about it. They'll talk about it on social media. They'll put it on the refrigerator. They'll show people things that people get excited about. So uh, how can we build on the momentum of what has been created so far? Because I know you guys can feel it, not all of you, but most of you can feel the momentum. You can feel it. You can feel the groundswell. And it takes usually you know, 60 to 90 days of, of really intense buildup before we, we start to actually see the, the, the results of that on the other side. But you can feel the energy of the momentum that's building. So you want it right now more than ever. You want to keep your pace up. You want to keep your energy up. And you want to focus on your dreams and on the dreams of others. And, and that will come through in the photos that you send people. Like there, when you send people photographs of their kids and their grandkids, you're sending them photographs of their dreams. When you send people photographs of their vacations, or their trip that they took in their Airstream, or their relaxing time at the lake, watching the sunset, you're sending them pictures of their dreams. So you wanna focus on your dreams and the dreams of others. And then you're gonna send them their dreams. Think about the power of that, the energy of that. You're sending them their dreams. So what are the next steps? This is gonna be a short call tonight, I think. I have a feeling it's gonna be short. So I'm going to look at some of your comments here. I'm loving it. It's good. April, I always enjoy your uh, enthusiasm. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> awesome. So you want to keep your pace up. You want to keep your energy up. You want to focus on your dreams. Like for me, my big dream was to be able to build a business from anywhere and I'm living that dream today. I can be in Las Vegas, I can be in the mountains of Jerome sitting in the park early in the morning, enjoying the sunrise. I can be at the beach. That's my dream, one of my dreams. And I can go travel with friends and I can build my business from wherever I am. Back in the day, I was. it was like, I felt free being able to build my phone from a pay, or build my business from a pay phone, but you had to be wired and those pay phones were everywhere. And I thought to myself, wow, pay phones are everywhere. I can build my business from anywhere. Think about that. Today, it's like, 
right here. I got it at my fingertips and most of it's free. Not all of it's free, but most of the technology that we use today is free. Be grateful for that. You know, that you can, you can like go to a Starbucks and plug into a free internet, buy a, you know, $4 coffee and have free internet. It's like amazing. So next steps. Right now, what do we want to do? We want to keep sending postcards. So keep I, what I'm, I, to me, it feels like I'm getting paid to scroll social media. So I'm scrolling social media, which I'd probably be doing anyway. And I'm looking for pictures of people celebrating their lives, celebrating their dreams, dropping them on a card. If I don't have their address, I send them a quick message saying, hey, what's your address? I want to mail you something. I put it in there. It takes me 10 seconds to enter an address, drop the picture on the card, type something quick on the back and hit send. And right now we want to just keep those postcards going out and keep the videos going out. Our numbers have been going up. It's exciting to see, but we are in the early, early, we're not even a month into this, you guys. I mean, I sent cards, I sent postcards for a month just to see how it was going to work for me, just to see if it's something that I felt was simple enough that other people would embrace and get excited about and get addicted to. And I figured out that, heck, if I'm going to get addicted to it and I love it and I I know that other people are too. So I said, let's get, I just want to get 10 people, just 10 you guys. I've got 140 people that have sent at least 90 cards in less than 30 days. Well, it's been 30 days now. The 11th was 30 days. Sent up, sent a hundred and 140 people have sent at least 90 cards. Most of you sent significantly more than 90 cards. So right now, what we need to do is keep the energy up. Keep sending the postcards, keep sending the video. It's not a 30 day deal. Yeah, that was a 30 day challenge, but this is something that if we really want to create, if we really want millions of people on the postcard program, which I believe we can do a couple million people, we need to continue to send and we're going to take it to a new level. We're going to take it to a new level. And then I do want to talk about follow up. I've seen the question of follow up come up like, I've sent out a bunch of videos, nobody's responded, or I've gotten a couple of responses. You know, what do I do to follow up? Well, what is the most powerful tool you have to follow up? Postcards. So just find another picture that you know. Most people will have to receive two or three or four photographs from you of, of things that are important to them before they really get it after you send them the video. But what I'm doing, there's two things I'm doing to follow up that I think is, are really powerful. The first one is, um, because I'm primarily looking for affiliates, but I, you know, of course I'll accept customers always, but I'm looking for affiliates. Uh, I'm sending lots of postcards out and some people will get two, three, four, five postcards from me with different pictures. I don't know if, I think it was April. I'm not really sure, but somebody posted a picture of a woman that had received like 15 postcards from someone. She had a party and this person sent them multiple pictures with pictures from the party and she had them all laid out. I don't, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was April that posted it. I don't know who the woman was that had received the cards, but you know, I'm not saying you need to send 15 cards to one person, but I mean, I think it's reasonable to send two or three cards to somebody, especially if you're interested. I mean, you know, if, if a, if you feel like you have stuff that you can send them, that's going to be meaningful, but then B, maybe it's somebody you're interested in having on your team. So um, my follow-up is postcards. And then, so if I've sent somebody the video, I'm going to follow up with postcards, but also on my YouTube channel, by the way, the cool buzz is gone. I, I don't think I'm going to bring that back because it's really outdated. The technology that I used to post it was outdated. And then a lot of the stuff on there is outdated. So if you go to my YouTube channel, um, I do have transcripts for uh, many of the, the, uh, you know, the zooms that we've done in the past, but um, those were not being used so much. So uh, the videos, all the relevant videos are on my YouTube channel. So if you just find my YouTube channel, which I just think is Jordan Adler, might be Jordan Dream on. Not sure. I think it's Jordan Dream on. Shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, most of you are probably already in it. Uh, but what I've been doing is following up the last five or six um, uh, trainings that I've done are all about the postcard program and just sending people links from my YouTube channel. And that's a great follow-up. So if they're interested, if they're interested, but they're, they haven't pulled the trigger yet, you send them a 15 minute or a 24 minute video about the postcard program and they can feel the excitement of it. 
then um, that's a great way of following up. So I'm following up with postcards. I'm following up with more videos and I'm, I'm following up with videos from the app as well. So um, you just want to follow up with people that have, especially people that have expressed interest. Uh, the other thing I want to just touch on, I know you've heard me talk about this. Um, some of you haven't, but most of you have what to put on the cards. It's really important. Um, if you're sending birthday cards, two panel cards, flat cards, big cards, gifts, I think that's still important to do it. I'm still doing that on a regular basis every day. However, the postcard program is separate. Like on the postcards, I recommend a photograph. Today, the photographs that you pull off of social media, if they were taken with a smartphone, those photographs are high resolution and they look really good on the cards. But I recommend for the postcard program, you put a photograph of something that's important to the person that you're sending the card to, and then just something quick and simple on the back. It could be one, it could be one word, it could be 10 words, um, but something simple. You are awesome. You know, it could be as simple as that. Um, I've sent some really fun ones. There's certain times I look at a picture and I just, a caption pops into my mind. Can't think any off the top of my head right now, but I look at stuff and I'm like, you know, I might say something like, wow, what a special moment or perfect moments. I might say that on the back of the card, or I might say, you'll never throw this card away. Try, you know, so just have fun with it. Put something cute and funny on the back of the card. Let's see what your comments are. If you've got any new comments. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. I always appreciate the hearts. It's so funny. Isaac Chavez, for some reason, in like the group, when I'm looking here, your name pops up like 50 times. It says Isaac Chavez is watching. Isaac Chavez is, Chavez is watching. Like literally 50 times. What's up, Jimmy Dick? And yeah, one day I will be sending postcards from space. I doubt it, but that's a cool idea. So did you guys hear about Richard Branson? So Richard was scheduled to go towards the end of the year and Jeff Bezos um, announced that he's going to space in his program, which is a different program, totally different program. Jeff Bezos, Amazon, said that he was gonna go at the end of this month and Richard's brand is Virgin and Virgin means go first. That's what he's always been about, is going first. And so he, um, made a decision, even though they've only been to space, this is total Richard Branson style. Like what I'm gonna to explain to you, this is his style. If you ever saw his movie, Don't Look Down, it's a really exciting documentary. It's on, uh, I think it's on Netflix or might, it's definitely on Prime. Um, if, you don't, if you watch his movie, Don't Look Down, you'll see like he likes to take risks that put his life in danger sometimes. Well, they've only been to space three times and they haven't taken a civilian. He pushed his date up to July 4th to go up to space to be the first civilian to go to space ahead of Bezos and Elon Musk. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I just heard that. Um, why did I even bring that? Oh, sending postcards from space. So that's probably going to push my date up as well. I hope it does. If I, if I had the opportunity to go on July 4th, I, 4th, I would. So what to put on cards, when you're talking about the postcard program, put a photograph from Facebook or from your phone that you took at an event. Um, I've got probably a hundred photographs that I took at my cousin's birthday party and all the kids were there. So I have lots of cards I can send from that. I've already sent a few. Um, and let's see, and then I would stick to something simple on the back of the card and just hit send. I mean, just keep it that simple. That's what you want to put on the postcards. And once you, if you haven't been doing it, you'll get, you'll get the feel, you know, you'll get the feeling of how simple it is and how quick it is and how powerful it is. Now, what to expect? This is important because I see the comments like, oh, I've sent out five videos and I haven't got any response. Well, there's a lot of reasons for that. One is the biggest reason is probably your belief level is not as the, the person that's receiving the card doesn't have a belief level in in what we're doing because they haven't really experienced it and it's possible your belief level isn't even as good as theirs i mean who knows it's like the person that has the strongest belief usually wins that could be part of it another thing is you know you've only sent out five videos you know this is something that you send videos out consistently you want to make it a habit just like just like sending the postcards is a habit you want to send the videos as a habit where you're just sending a few videos every day and you don't think about it 
And then you're following up every day and you don't think about it. You're sending postcards every day and you don't think about it. It's just something you do every day. This is what it's going to take for you to build a business. You're probably going to get one out of 10 that will sign up on the spot. The rest of them, the ones that are going to sign up, it might be a week, it might be two weeks, it might be a month, it might be two months. And that's going to be up to you as you just as you continue to advance that relationship and continue to stay connected to those people. But again, focus on your dreams and on their dreams. Duplication always starts slow and then it builds no matter how good it is, no matter how good something is. It's just like if you're planting seeds and you're waiting for those saplings to come out of the ground, you're going to be waiting for a long time and you're going to get impatient. The tree doesn't, if the plant doesn't grow fast enough, you're going to get impatient, but you have to keep planting. And then before you know it, you go back and you see there's plants coming out of the ground. And then before you know it, they're, you know, saplings and then they're trees and then they're dropping seeds. So you want to, no matter how good it is, it's going to take time. See, right now we just launched this. This is a new program. I want you guys to be patient, but I want you to stay in action. Now, th there's two other things I want to talk about tonight as we wrap this up. The first one is I want to just touch on, we're going to be spending more time on this, but I want to touch on influencers. An influencer is no different than you or me. An influencer is somebody that's connected to thousands of people or tens of thousands of people or hundreds of thousands or even millions of people. And today, many of the influencers, the legitimate influencers, there's a lot of fakes out there, but the legitimate influencers like Nancy Lieberman of Lieberman Charities that, we've, uh, that we're connected to through through Greener Still and Send Out Cards and Cody and, and other, other top network marketing leaders that you might know. They're influencers. They influence a lot of people. They have the same feelings that you do. And if they see this and they get excited about it, they will tell other people about it. And they have influence because those, and so those people will make a decision quickly because they have influence. And it, even if you don't have influence, if you're connected to people that do, your business can grow very rapidly. And because of Instagram today and because of social media, when we tap into that opportunity, our business is going to grow much faster. So I just want you to be aware of that, that if there are, because again, they're no different. If you send a video to an influencer that you know you have a relationship with, it could be somebody that's, that has 5,000 followers and they like it and they get excited about it and they start using it, they're probably going to chat about it in their social media, in their Instagram stories, which is going to get them and you, obviously, many users. So I wanted to share that with you. So if you are part of my special po pro, uh, postcard program team, meaning that between June 11, or May, 11, uh, May 10th and June 11th, May 10th and June 11th, you sent out at least 90 postcards, photographic postcards, with pictures from social media or from your phone with something quick on the back, not a campaign, but individual cards, 90, that's an average of three a day, three a day. If you did that, you were invited into a special texting group with me where you're gonna get personal texts from me and invitations. And a, a hundred, almost 140 of you got an invitation over the past couple of days. And I'm gonna be doing a special Zoom with you tomorrow night. And, um, and so, there are some of you that aren't in that group and I want you in it. And in order for you to be in it, you need to send 90 individual personalized photographic postcards with pictures from social media or your phone uh, within any 30 day period. And then send me a message with your cell number and your email address. And I will put you in that texting group so you can be part of this. This group is only for people that have done that. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be sharing some things with that group that, I, that aren't going to go out to the general. It's not going out to everybody. It's only going to the people that have completed that challenge. So if you want to be in that, get that done. The other thing is if you have, this is important, if you have team members that you want in that group, got to give them a, their marching orders, give them a challenge, give them an assignment and say, I want our team to be in this group. Would you go out and do this? What will happen is when they start doing it, they're going to get excited about it and they're going to get um, they're going to get addicted. And if they're not fully enrolled, then I would go on to my YouTube channel and copy the link for one for one of those trainings that I've done over the past few weeks. Maybe the one uh, that there's a 15 minute one that I did for my truck 
and pass that video on to them, ask them to watch it and say, why don't you do this so you can be part of the group? Any 30 day period, 90 individual, not groups and not flat cards, not flat cards, postcards. That means when you're on your app, you click the postcard button, which is uh, not in an envelope. It's a front and a back. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't need to show you right now. Photograph on the front, text on the back. Do that 90 postcards, at least 90 postcards in a 30 day period. And you'll be added as long as you, I get a cell phone number from you and a um, email address. So that's where we're going to stop tonight. I'm, I'm excited to go back and read the comments. I hope you all have a great night and uh, have a great week. Talk to you soon. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.